In this video, we're going to go over the remainder theorem. And the basic idea behind the remainder theorem is that if you take a function f of x, and if you divide it by a linear factor like x minus c, then the remainder of that, let's say if you use synthetic division or even long division, the remainder of that expression will be equal to f of c. So that's basically the equivalent of taking c and plugging it into this function. So we're going to illustrate the remainder theorem. So let's say if we have a polynomial function, f of x. Let's say that f of x is equal to 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus 6x minus 12. And the problem wants you to evaluate f of 4. So evaluate the function when x is equal to 4. Now there's two ways we can get the answer. We can do it the old-fashioned way, simply plug in 4 into the equation or we can use synthetic division. Let's plug in 4 first and see what answer we're going to get. So let's replace x with 4. So this is going to be 2 times 4 raised to the third power minus 5 times 4 squared plus 6 times 4 minus 12. Now 4 to the third power, that's 4 times 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16 and 16 times 4 is 64. Now 4 squared is 16. 6 times 4 is 24. 2 times 64, that's 128. And 5 times 16. 5 times 10 is 50. 5 times 6 is 30. 50 plus 30, that's 80. So 5 times 16 is 80. And 24 minus 12 is 12. 128 minus 80 that's going to be 48 because 12 minus 8 is 4 and 8 minus 0 is 8. And 48 plus 12 is 60. So therefore, f of 4 is equal to 60. So now that we have that, let's use synthetic division to confirm this answer. So first, I'm going to take the coefficients of the polynomial expression and write them here. 2, negative 5, 6, and 12. Then I'm going to take the number 4 and write it here. So first, let's bring down a 2. And when doing synthetic division, remember to multiply and then add and repeat. So multiply, add, multiply, add, and just keep doing that. So first, we're going to multiply. 4 times 2 is 8. And then we're going to add. Negative 5 plus 8 is 3, and then multiply. 4 times 3 is 12, and then add. 6 plus 12 is 18, and then 4 times 18. Oh, by the way, this should be negative 12. I almost forgot the negative sign, so let's put that there. Now, what's 4 times 18? 4 times 10 is 40. 4 times 8 is 32. 40 plus 32 is 72. And negative 12 plus 72 is 60. So as you can see, the remainder is 60. So the remainder for synthetic division is equal to the value of the function at x equals 4. So the remainder is the same as f of c. 60 is equal to f of 4. And so that's the basic idea behind the remainder theorem. It's very useful for evaluating functions. As you can see, it took us a lot less time to basically find this value of 60 using synthetic division instead of plugging in 4 into this expression. So synthetic division is very useful. Let's try another example. So let's say that f of x is 3x to the fourth power minus 7x cubed minus 9x plus 12. So go ahead and evaluate the function when x is equal to 5. Feel free to pause the video. So use synthetic division to get the answer and then confirm it by evaluating the function at x equals 5. So let's start with synthetic division. Now notice that we don't have an x squared term. So we're going to use 0x squared. 
This means that we need to insert 0 between negative 7 and negative 9. So the coefficients are 3, negative 7, 0, negative 9, and 12. So let's bring down the 3. 5 times 3 is 15. And negative 7 plus 15, that's going to be 8. And then 5 times 8 is 40. Let's bring down the 40. And then 5 times 40 is 200. Negative 9 plus 200 is 191. Now, what's 5 times 191? 191 is basically 200 minus 9. 5 times 200 is 1,000. And 5 times 9 is 45. So 1,000 minus 45, that's 955. And let's check that with the calculator just to be on the safe side. And that is 955. And then 12 plus 955, that's 967. So this is the remainder. Therefore, f of 5 should equal 967. Now let's confirm that answer by evaluating the function when x is 5. So this is going to be 3 times 5 to the 4th minus 7 times 5 to the 3rd minus 9 times 5 plus 12. So what's 5 to the 4th power? 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 5 is 125. And 125 times 5, that's 625. So 5 times 100 is 500, and 5 times 25 is 125. So you need to add 500 and 125 to get 625. Now we know that 5 cubed is 125. And 9 times 5 is 45. Now, 3 times 625. 3 times 600 is 1800. And 3 times 25 is 75. So that's going to be 1875. Now, 7 times 125. 7 times 100 is 700. And 7 times 25, if you have 7 quarters, that's a buck 75. So that's 175. So 700 plus 175 is 875. Now, 1875 minus 875, we can cancel the 875s and that become 1,000. And we know that 1,000 minus 45 is 955. And 955 plus 12 is 967. So we get the same answer. So therefore, f of 5 is equal to 967. Now, let's try one final example. So let's say if we have 2x to the 4th minus 3x squared plus 30. And let's evaluate it at x equals 3. Feel free to try this problem. So let's use synthetic division. So the coefficients are 2 and then 0x cubed. So we need a 0, negative 3x squared, 0x, and then 30. 3 times 2 is 6, 0 plus 6 is 6. 3 times 6 is 18. And then negative 3 plus 18, that's 15. 3 times 15 is 45. And then 3 times 45. 3 times 40 is 120. 3 times 5 is 15. So 120 plus 15, that's 135. And if you add 30 to it, that will give you 165. So therefore, f of 3 is equal to 165. That's the answer. Now let's confirm it. So it's going to be 2 times 3 raised to the 4 minus 3 times 3 squared plus 30. So what's 3 to the 4th power? 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27, and 27 times 3 is 81. And then 3 squared, we know it's 9. 2 times 81, that's 162. 3 times 9 is 27. Now, negative 27 plus 30, that's plus 3. And 162 plus 3 is 165. So you can see that we get the same answer.
So now you know how to use the remainder theorem to evaluate functions, and that's by using synthetic division. So the remainder is the same as the value of the function at that particular point. So that's it for this video, and thanks again for watching.